in America we have rights, and those rights are being abused by law enforcement officers all across America. You see, what they did last night was try to figure out who I was, but they weren't doing it lawfully at all. They set up a play, it's called a push play. Let's push his buttons and see what happens to him. But companies like to do that instead of using professional networking. You see, a professional networking-oriented person who's a part of any company will walk up to someone and say, Hi, I'm so-and-so representing this company, and I'm just wondering if there's something that we could talk about today that might help you in some way. Instead of playing that, Hi, I'm in control of this company, I'm in control of this issue, and I'm going to shove you off this property through discrimination. The liar in that uh, particular organization is, interestingly, the IT guy. So perhaps he's the police officer, the bald-headed police officer that's trying to fuck my actual wife who's supposed to be married to me and screw me out of my life. But the reality is when he approached me, he wanted to know who I was, what I was, all this stuff. You're not in trouble. Bullshit. You just three-timed three, three timed me with three men who are pissing all over my property. Why is my bag now wet? But the reality is your attitude is you're going to keep pissing all over me today. I wouldn't do that. I do actually re represent political consulting. I do actually represent marketing training. I do actually represent Japanese master learning, and I do do that. You see, a man who has talents uses his talents to provide food through work for his family. And it is rude of you to think that I didn't do that. What a lying little shitbag you are to call me somebody who's lying online. I'm not lying. I'm trying to protect my fucking life from police officers who sexually assaulted me in a jail when a lying police officer of the court fucked my life along with siblings who want more inheritance. So don't you fucking play me. You can't possibly describe what I've been through in my life and you don't care because your attitude is I'm just going to take this logo, I'm just going to take this content, I'm going to sell it, I'm going to use it. No, a person who has life balance focuses their life every single day in a portion of life balance. And when I talk about life balance, I'm talking about my slide version, my organized version of life balance based on the laws of the United States, that I have the right to freedom of religion, which is my faith. I have the right to choose my family and pursue the woman I love because of our long-term or short-term interactions that said, hey, I love you and I'm interested in you after replacing my wife of 20 plus years, my spouse who's no longer here my lay son who's no longer with me and I'm looking for that family because every person has the right to grieve and I grieve for a good seven to ten years but I also grieved about the loss of you and that's my right at the same time the right to look at my fitness and my fitness is choosing my food for my life to create my cellular health which I've had and managed my whole life as an adult and I'm in my 50s so you're not going to tell me as my family member even if we have the similar biology that I'm going to eat spicy food because I'm not I don't have the same intestinal tract as you. So please stop acting like what you eat is going to be okay for me because it's not. I have a mother who likes to play, a late mother who used to love to play medical doctor and openly it's immoral. She didn't have that medical training and she's certainly not a specialist in what I went through and how dare you as a sibling to think you're going to fucking retro my life to something that I'm not. In America we have rights and under that rights beyond fitness we have the right to pursue happiness and the right to pursue happiness typically requires the development of income and the development of income I chose to pursue allowed me to have a lot of free time with my family it allowed me to have a lot of dealings with a waywardly child which I did on my own time and I occasionally asked one sibling who was an expert in child rearing about that I also leaned a lot on my late father who had the finances to support when we had to deal with a lot of shit that we didn't expect but the reality is that a family is something that someone always pursues and that's that. But what we were talking about is finances. And people have the right to pursue any job they can get, especially late in life, when companies practice ageism and don't want to hire senior citizens because of the cost that it would be natural to do that. You see, a company would rather hire a stupid, young, uh, inappropriate, and often inexperienced person at a much lower salary and boot out somebody who's seasoned. But sometimes those seasoned employees do something that means that they have to go. Because they acted inappropriately, they acted arrogantly, they did something foolish on behalf of the company, and people let them go. But other times they're looking at their bottom dollar, looking at their budget, going, well, if we just drop this one employee, then we've got money to move over here to do this. But it takes how much to replace a salaried employee, do you know? It takes about 30% of that salary earner's income or revenue for their family to replace someone. 
in marketing of that position today. And I don't think it's changed over the years. I learned that when I was a management person, a coordinator in a manufacturing environment. Our HR director was very savvy about her industry and shared data that helped me to understand. And that helped me a lot when I was doing my training in front of associates. And I was a part, as a part of management, in meeting those associates so they knew me, they knew who I was, they knew my job, and they knew what they should learn from me. Now, when we continue down that chart of life balance, we have other areas that may not be important to you as they are to me. But philanthropy is sort of a part of my life, and philanthropy at this time is simply feeding some stupid old geese and looking out for the ones that are broken because probably employees of local retail establishments started pissing all over them, not recognizing that those geese eat half the bugs, and in particular the cockroaches, that can be cre creeping and, and, and moving into not only their stores, but into products from vendors, which isn't wise.